Shares of Hanmi Pharmaceutical continue to plummet following allegations that it deliberately delayed an announcement on a contract termination to give insiders an edge. A probe has been launched to see whether the company told investors the negative news. Our Kim Min-ji has the details. Traders short-selling shares of Hanmi Pharmaceutical are estimated to have made profits of over 20%. According to the Korea Exchange, shares of Hanmi Pharmaceutical fluctuated by as much as 23 percent on Friday, meaning short-selling traders could have made profits of roughly 135 U.S. dollars per share. Short-selling refers to the sale of a security not owned by the seller or that the seller has borrowed. If the share price declines, the security can be bought back at a lower price for a profit. After markets closed on Thursday, Hanmi announced that it had signed a 910 million U.S. dollar contract with Genentech to license an anti-cancer treatment, with shares jumping 4 percent at Friday's open. About half an hour later, markets opened on Friday. The company announced the termination of its contract with Germany's Beringer Ingelheim, causing shares to tumble more than 18 percent by the end of the day. Another question here is whether the company informed some investors about the negative news to come, giving them time to unload their shares. In Korea, list of firms were required to make new announcements or corrections using a system run by the Financial Supervisory Service. Korea exchange officials then review the information and approve disclosures. However, Hami Pharmaceutical didn't make the disclosure about Beringer Ingelheim's deal and instead waited until the next morning. The company has apologized for the delay, saying it put the announcement off so that it wouldn't cause confusion with regard to the disclosure about the Genentech deal. The Financial Service Commission and Curry Exchange launched a joint probe into Hemi Pharmaceutical on Sunday to see whether it violated the rules for fair disclosure or not. Hemi shares were trading down roughly 7 percent on Tuesday morning. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.